it's a waste of time. I mean, the NPA should have looked into what was the occasion, what was happening, what is the relationship of these people with the occasion, and then apply not only the law but the principles of Ubuntu. You don't do that as Africans, but because they are so scared of white people, they decided no black man provokes a white person and goes uh, unpunished. <laughs> so we're here because we had a scuffle with a white man. If it was a black person, they would have said, the two of you go for mediation men and find each other. But you don't touch a white person as a black person if we did touch him, if we did touch him. So let's just ask him, did you actually lay a hand on um, the sword? I've never done that. I mean, if uh, I laid a hand on him, I would have penal beaten him. But oh, it would have been worse than what you saw. So I don't play when I lay hands. We are happy about the fact that the trial date has been set for the 10th of March. It brings clarity. It also sends out a message to all South Africans that there is equality before the law. Unfortunately, sometimes you need pressure from organizations like AfriForum to get that equality before the law. But the fact is, if you assault a police officer or anybody else, um, if it was me or you, we would have been prosecuted a long time ago. This has now taken 19 months, despite the fact that there is video evidence of the incident. Um, but we are happy that we are now getting to a situation where South Africans can know people will be prosecuted, even if you're a senior political figure.